Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to explore the difference between a general solution and a particular solution of a differential equation. Again, we rely on the very standard uh, equation that, that is derived from exponential growth. So here we have what we call an exponential growth curve, and the differential equation that defines this is right here. It's simply the rate of change in the population is equal to a constant times the population. And let's say that for this particular example, let's call the constant the 2. So here we're trying to find the solution to the PDT is equal to 2P. And we know that the general solution of this is equal to that P is equal to some constant of integration times E to the 2T uh, right there. So this would be KT, but in this case, K is equal to 2. So that would be the solution of our differential equation. Now, since we don't know what c is equal to, we call that the general solution because that really defines that there's an infinite number of solutions depending upon the value of c. So this is known as the general solution. And typically, when we solve differential equations, that is what we're looking for, the general solution. Now, how do you find the particular solution? Well, you can only find that if they give you some initial conditions to the problem. So, if there are some initial conditions, and the reason why we call them initial conditions is because typically it is at the beginning of the problem. And, and since we calibrate the beginning of the problem where t is equal to zero, so in this case t is equal to zero, the initial conditions involve what happens or what is the situation when the time is equal to zero. So when time is equal to zero, let's say that the population was equal to 100. So that means that p sub naught, which is equal to p, when t is equal to 0 is equal to 100. And that will allow us to solve for c. So this, in this way, this allows us to find c. And once we find c, we no longer have the general solution. We then have what we call the particular solution. We'll see that in just a moment. So to find c. All right, so we'll take our, we'll take our equation and we'll solve for c by saying this. When p, p is equal to 0, Oh no, p is equal to 100 when t is equal to 0. So we can say that 100, because now we take this equation right here. And instead of writing p, we write 100 is equal to c times e to the 2 times 0. When t is equal to 0, p is 100. So that's what we call the initial condition. Now this allows us to solve for c, because that's the only unknown left in the equation. Well, e to the 0 power is equal to 1. That means 100 is equal to c. And so therefore, we can now rewrite the equation right here, but instead of c, we write 100. So p is equal to 100 times e to the 2t. And this is now what we call the particular solution for this particular problem. So for this problem, given the initial conditions that when time is equal to 0, the population is 100, this now becomes the solution to our differential equation related to our particular problem right here. And therefore, this is called the particular solution. All right, general solution, particular solution. Now you know the difference. And that's how it's done.